I'm, I'm joined here by uh, two outstanding ladies. Two outstanding ladies. I'm just really tongue-tied here today. Uh, they're Notre Dame Law School students who spent their summers in a unique internship program. Uh, it's part of what makes the Notre Dame Law Program a, a different kind of lawyer program. Samantha Schuler and Christina Semerock, welcome to Notre Dame Day. Happy to see you guys here. How you doing? We're good. Doing great. Yeah, we're doing good. Okay, Happy to be here. Let's jump right into it here. You both participated as uh, summer interns through the law school's program on church, state, and society. Tell us some more about that. Yeah, so I worked with the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops mm -hmm. out in D.C., and I worked with their Office of General Counsel among seven or eight attorneys, and I worked predominantly with the Religious Liberty Attorney um, working on issues under the First Amendment. Nice. That's, that's, that's really important. Those issues of the First Amendment, especially now, super prevalent. Um, so, Samantha, what did your work actually involve? So I worked closely, like I said, with the religious liberty attorney, also mm -hmm. with the litigation attorney. Um, I reviewed kind of a variety of practice areas that affected the Conference of Catholic Bishops, from yeah. um, local municipal law and zoning ordinances to you know federal regulations promulgated by federal agencies and departments. Um, so I really got a broad range of work, really honed my legal research skills, which was um, very helpful going forward. Some good real world experience yes. there. And Christina, uh, which organization did you work with? So I worked for the Russian Baptist Church in West Sacramento, uh, also called Bright Church. And it's about 2,000 members, mostly immigrant community, mostly Russian speakers. So it was a chance to come back and give back. That's awesome. Now, yeah. Samantha, what did you learn from your internship experiences? Yeah. Um, so like I said, I worked on my legal research skills. Right. But I also, you know, more importantly, I got to work with the most contentious constitutional issues that our modern society faces today. Mm -hmm. And I got to do that after just merely one year of law school. Um, it was really crucial for me because it helped inform the career path I want to take potentially down the road, working in healthcare at the intersection of healthcare and religious liberty. Um, so the fact that I got to work with, you know, questions that are always going to be relevant in society, um, it really showed me, you know, that I came to the right law school and that I what I can do not only as an attorney and make a difference, but as a Catholic attorney yeah. um, in line with the university's mission. Nice. Christina, same question for you. What, what did you learn? Yeah, so uh, mine was a little bit different, uh, more on the operational end to see how the religious organization works. It was interesting to see what contracts they deal with, and a lot of people come to the church with their personal legal issues and kind of need guidance on where to go next. And it was just bridging that, and it was really interesting to see how many people we could help, how, how important the church is in the community, and it also allows, like for me it was important that Notre Dame accepted different religions, not just being Catholic, yeah. and that I think makes a light even for Notre Dame to show how important anything in the community is. No doubt. And Christina, why do you think the program on uh, church, state, and society is such an important program in the law school? Yeah, so this is, it's a very different perspective. A lot of people go into government work or go in-house or go into a law firm. This puts you on the ground with real people, like real organizations that are trying to save the community, trying to better the community, and they need a lot of help. And I think it shows that there are opportunities for students to do that. I think that's very important. It also allows like Notre Dame to create this bridge that when we graduate, like I plan on volunteering hours. I think anyone in this program would see what an impact you can make. And it's important to have that bridge, to have that experience. Nice. Real quick, you guys have any favorite memories from your work? Um, yes. One of the legal research issues I was given was having to do with a koi pond on the campus of the Conference of Catholic Bishops huh. and whether or not we should be concerned with the zoning ordinances of somebody tripping and falling into the koi pond. Hmm. Um, there was a joke made by the general counsel that I might have to purchase a pair of waders and see how deep the koi pond actually was. <laughs> so I never thought I would be doing something like that. But Makes you think of that uh, episode of The Office with Michael Scott where he falls in the koi pond. If you yes. guys are Office fans, <laughs> love that one. What about you? Yeah, so we actually had a gentleman come in. He was a grandfather. Um, had gotten custody of two young girls and had all these different appearances and he didn't know what was going on and so he just needed someone to help him translate and just by being there I was able to help him talk to the court and just you know not acting as a lawyer but someone there who could help out and, and that was just such a random event he just kind of walked in they didn't know what to do they said hey can you help this guy out and just having the availability to help him made me realize how important it is to be that different kind of lawyer. That's awesome. Well, thank yeah. you both for sharing your experiences with us and joining us here for Notre Dame Day. 